this is Greg Troutwine with Offshore Engineer TV, and we're here today with Jens Thompson, CCO of Maersk DCOM, to discuss Maersk DCOM's new cost calculator for decommissioning projects in the North Sea. Jens, first and foremost, we sincerely appreciate your time today. To start us off, can you give us a by-the-numbers look at the decommissioning market in the North Sea as you see it? Yes, well, thank you so much for having me, uh, Greg. Uh, yeah, the the decommissioning uh, market is a, a large market, uh, so there's various numbers out there because, of course, it depends a lot on, on different uh, on different things. But uh, if you look, for example, at the oil and gas UK uh, estimates uh, for the North Sea, then we're talking around forty eight. Uh, a billion pounds uh, as a as a market in the in the North Sea alone, um, and you're looking at uh, more than you know 300 uh, different uh, uh, oil and gas fields uh, with associated infrastructure. That being a lot of platforms, of course, and and a, a lot of subsea infrastructure and and thousands of of wells. So there's a uh, there's quite a a lot of uh, potential work out there for sure. Yeah. But who specifically is the calculating tool for? Well, it, it's uh, of course for anybody that's interested in looking at decommissioning projects, but the but the the, the background was more to say that the operators uh, of oil and gas uh, infrastructure that uh, would like to have a a, a, a more uh, discussion around what's the cost of decommissioning, and then it would be an easy way of them to to start opening di dialogue with us, uh, being a specialized uh, contractor for decommissioning. Right? How and why was the idea born? How long did it take, and how much did it cost Maersk Decom to create? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. Well, definitely because we are a dedicated decommissioning uh, contract. Basically, we don't do anything but decommissioning. So, so everything we do with all our engineers and specialists is are looking at how to really do uh, decommissioning projects in the most optimal way both from our you know, effectively and uh, cost-effective uh, environmental and sustainability uh, perspective. Uh, so th that, of course, meant that we are gathering a lot of data in general uh, on, on our offerings and the ongoing projects we have and the historic uh, projects. So we thought, so that's really how it started. I started saying that all of a sudden we have all this data. I instead of just sitting on that, why don't we then start using it in a more structured way to develop an estimation tool? And then, that, so that's how it started probably one and a half year ago, where we started in more details in, in gathering these things. And then the last six months, we have uh, uh, developed more the idea around how to actually do it and, and, and do it in, in a free version to, uh, to start with online. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, there could maybe be a, 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 you know, there is, of course, a big tool behind it. So that could be a later version, a pro version or whatever you want to call it, maybe uh, that uh, you want access to if you want more details than, than what is provided in the, in the free version now. We very well understand the premise behind a cost calculating tool. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into each and every decommissioning project. Um, but is the cost calculator tool, is it geared more to create decom business for Maersk Decom? And if not, I guess uh, what I'm getting at is what is Maersk Decom's obligation to deliver decommissioning in a certain price range as indicated on the ca uh, calculator if it wins the job? Yeah, so the idea is not that this tool is basically a proposal tool, meaning that if you type in the, the thing and then it spits out a number and that's then a proposal that they can sign and then we we'll go and do the decommissioning for that price. That's not the idea. So the idea is, uh, you know, in an industry, uh, we want to, to try and be more transparent with what is actually the cost of decommissioning because it's one of these elements that is quite challenging to estimate or at least historically have been. So we thought, well, with our knowledge and data, we thought it was good to go out there and start having an open dialogue and be more transparent around this very important subject, uh, the cost, what does it cost? Uh, and, and therefore, we, we thought, let's make a free version to start at opening this dialogue as we have now with you. And hopefully that gives a lot of feedback to understanding the industry and so we can be more open uh, discussing these things because it should be actually about everybody's interest to do the most effective, uh, both costly, but also uh, from our environmental perspective, the decommissioning project, because a lot of the taxpayers' money is also going into doing the decommissioning. 